Hello, everyone. Spark Sites owners. Um, so we're reviewing um, new tools all the time. And as you know that, um, you know, Brandon and Christina are managing your sites, your hostings there, monitoring your SSL certificates. But what we've been doing in the background is constantly testing new resources, new software for kind of what's cutting edge. Now, we know a major pain point for a lot of you is social media management and content creation. Um, and that's just a critical component of marketing and sales. In fact, if anything, uh, Brandon kind of intuitively said the other day, you know, Websites are just a subpar component, or not a subpar, are just a subcomponent of marketing. In the end, you're trying to create leads. And when we talk a lot about content, obviously we're talking about search engine optimization, making sure you're ranking well. Um, so, you know, if any of you have come to us and said, Grant, how do I rank better? Uh, though we've talked about, yes, we can do SEO. Yes, we can do micro marketing. Uh, yes, we can do paid ads and drive leads and talk about all that stuff. But in the end, you've heard me say, hey, you need to be creating content or we need to be creating content for you, but content is king. And so we, we searched high and low for content. And um, if you saw one of the other videos I shot today or yesterday, we, we refer to several tools out there um, that try to help or claim to help with content and content creation. And it seems, oh my gosh, this is so simple. I'm gonna be paying you know, for this software as a service, a SaaS product, a sendable, and that's gonna be 50 or 60 bucks a month, or I'm paying for this out of the other. I'm previewing one today called Hello Woofy. And Hello Woofy, I wanted to show to you the pros and the cons of kind of where this is at. And if you've been watching the Spark show that I do on my own feed, and talking about personal development, small business development, um, we talk a lot, or we have talked a lot lately about the accelerating marketplace and how AI and convergence is really affecting a lot of things. And so AI is coming to content creation. AI is coming to web design. And so we need to be on the cutting edge of that. You need to be aware of the pros of that, but also the cons, because you know the high... Um, promise that AI will disrupt everything immediately is there. It's a present concern, um, but it's also lacking in some ways. So there's a tool here called Hello Woofy. I'll link it uh, in this post in the, goal, in the Spark Sites group. I'll link it in the post, but this video is just a brief overview of the tool. So you don't have to pay for the experimentation with these tools. We're exper experimenting with these tools all the time, and we hope to drop more product reviews like this of tools that could help with lead generation, content creation, client, a CRM, client resource management, and what we like about them, what we don't like about them, what they promise in this case, in terms of AI and what they deliver and whether or not, or how well they deliver on those promises. So let's, let's jump in without further ado. So this product is called Hello Woofy. There's a great, great price point if the product can deliver at the level it promises, I want to show it to you. Um, and again, just, just borrow from our experience here so that you don't have to uh, necessarily pioneer all of these things yourself. So sh you should be seeing my screen here. We're in the app, app.hellowoofy.com. We've paid for the annual membership of this, so you don't have to. And there's a lot going on. Obviously, first and foremost, the UX and the, U, um, the UI it, is using a lot of emojis. And it's gearing towards the middle audience and younger, obviously. And what it's assuming, I believe, with this UX and UI is that perhaps a, a small business, a one to three person business, either hired um, a, a small, a new social media manager out of college or a young person to maybe help with um, some executive administration, some secretary work, but then might also throw them into the fire of content creation for them. And I do believe this UX and UI is made for that I would say early 30s, like 30s to 32 and younger uh, team member who can navigate this. You can tell by the color, it kind of has like an Instagram pop, a, um, a Gen Z, Gen Alpha pop. But there's some things going on. The promise of Hello Woofy, just so you know, here's the landing page to Hello Woofy. Again, the link is in the post. And it's talking about small business owners and it's promising, let's use artificial intelligence and automagically use data science. And we looked that over and it's like, wow, we like that promise. And there's this promise of this little icon here. It has its own Google Chrome extension where if you're browsing the internet, you can queue some things up. It says it's got a lot going on here in terms of a graphics editor. So hopefully getting rid of the need for things like a paid Canva account. Auto magically 
uh, come up with hashtags you might want to be using automatically come up with suggested emojis so you don't have to search your keyboard for emojis it, when it starts reading your content it will start populating emojis we're going to look at that it promises to auto complete posts into interface with all of your social media accounts some of it it does very well others of it does not work so hot so we like the promise of this thing, and we were considering whether or not we're going to bring this to you and put our name on it, but we're still unsure. So that's the promise, that artificial intelligence, where Sendable basically helps you create content and might even help you discover content. In the end, you, the busy small business owner, still have to write all the content and schedule it. So Sendable might help you organize your campaigns, but you still have to create the content. And for most of you small business owners, when we talk about search engine optimization, you have no time to create content. So though there's a lot going on here, our biggest hope in exploring this tool for you was discovering a tool that can help create content for you. So you've got this homepage and I won't even go into this entire homepage. You can pause the video and just look you know, create a campaign with multiple posts, create a single post, um, or what drafts do you have? What is your hashtag playlist? Do you add new hashtags based on what you're doing? You can see we've experimented with sparked life, total life experience, small business coaching, and then small business coaching together, just because I was experimenting this for my coaching business. Um, but this could be, you know, your pet walking for Gina, the pet nanny, or, uh, you know, Lakeland uh, landscaping, if you did landscaping or whatever. So the big promise that we're looking for is, hey, what's going on with AI? Now you see some things moving. Well, this guy right here promises to be your AI assistant. The graphic looks, the graphic looks very interesting. And so I come down here and click it and I get this notification, import content. Sorry, couldn't understand any word. Please try again. So this first stab at the artificial intelligent assistant, let's just give it one more shot. Create content. Couldn't understand my word again. So if I just click create content, it's going to bring me to a content page. We're going to look at that. Uh, you sure you want to continue? Yeah. Oop. Are you sure you want to continue? Yeah. So first and foremost, our first attempt at seeing this really interesting graphic promise something, some interaction or some intelligence. Um, when we click it, it really didn't do anything intelligent yet. It's really just trying to get your attention. And it looks super professional, but the delivery is kind of half-hearted. There's nothing really going on with that. Now, I do have a pulsating puppy paw, and this is called Hello Woofy, and Woofy is meant to be your assistant. So if we click the puppy paw, what do we get? a training video. Now that's not bad. Anywhere you see a puppy paw, it's going to train you on a relevant article. Now that's pretty intelligent. And if you had the time, or if your assistant has the time, or if you work for a small business and you're watching this, um, you know how to get training videos, but we're still not delivering on creating content for you. It's intelligent. It's a great interaction, but it's just going to tell me how to write a better article. So then my next thought is, is, well, what's discover now discover is partly artificial intelligence. You have the resources it's pulling from, and you can curate your resources. I got rid of all sports. I got rid of MTV news and crypto news. I got a lot of technology stuff here. I got rid of Fox news. I got rid of ESPN news. Like there's not a lot of good stuff. And I could probably prune this even more and look, here's another training video. So that's good. Um, but you can trim down the news articles and then it creates basically this feed of articles. So you skim this and go, okay, well, what am I learning here? Let's say I don't want to do anything with politics. So I should probably get rid of Breitbart and some of that. Well, here's a business article. California's boom collapses with fires. Okay. So I'm going to click this. What's going on here? Oh, well, it's an article. It's a headline. I've got my little assistant here. Let's see if I click it, create a post, show me analytics and go to homepage. Well, I, I don't need any of that. I could add it to my library, create a new post or watch a video. I suggest you watch the video. I could just go right into creating a new post um, and it brings up this post box. We've seen this before and we're gonna explore that a little more in depth in a second. Let's go back. 
or I could add it to the library. Well, adding it to the library looks a lot like creating a post. So it looks like there's a lot going on in these options, but the truth is it's just having me create a post and save it as a draft or publish it right away. All right. And in, in Spark Sites, we always recommend you come up with unique content. So I could take this article, add my own commentary and make it unique because I've added commentary. But is this really relevant with the Spark brand? Is it relevant to, in Gina's case, the puppy walking brand? Is it relevant to the landscaper? Not really if you're doing messaging and branding control. But maybe it triggers some thoughts that you want to add commentary and just kind of fill in your, your, your feed or your blog with just trending topics. Um, but that's not what we recommend for you as you're trying to get search engine optimized. As you're trying to get search engine optimized, geography matters, so you want local interests, and your service matters, and that's how you get ranked. If you're just sharing other people's stuff, it's busyness, and, it, and you might want to share it in your social feeds, your Facebook feed or your LinkedIn feed, and you might be a coach. And then speaking to these current events sort of topics might be useful where you could prove your intelligence. But if you're a service business or a landscaping business, it's kind of two-dimensional. They do offer, again, some easy resources. You can add topics to maybe prune. If you're lawn or landscaping, you can put that in and you can search other topics. There's a ton of topics you could scroll, science and all kinds of stuff. And that might help you prune this feed <clears throat> a little bit more. And, that, and, and the AI here promises that it learns your preferences and starts percolating only the stuff you click and read. So be careful that you don't click some Kanye West article, if that's not part of your brand. If it is, go to town. If it's not, skip it. There's some advanced features where it will show you more how many shares it had, how many likes it had, how, what its keywords are. And you can search from an advanced function, but again, it's not creating content for you. It's giving you inspiration so that you create content at a more rapid clip. If you go back to basic, it might prune the newest topics and it might show you the trending topics, but there's not a lot here promising to save you time and allow you to create more relevant content for your brand. Now, if you look at the library, the library is stuff that you're building. So we'll come back to that in a second. Your calendar is interesting because from a calendar view, this gives you an editorial view on how your campaigns are playing out. You might create a few posts and a few campaigns and then forget kind of what the cadence of those post deliveries are. This is kind of a, a, an editorial calendar. It will tell you how many posts you have on that given day. You don't want to create too many posts. You don't want too much messaging going on. That's a very valuable feature because if you start going to town and creating a lot of filler content, you want to space that out. And then you start putting in a lot of relevant content, content that is relevant to your clients. You want to know when you've done too many and maybe spread that out. You want to see where you have nothing and it's empty and start to, to, to top that off. That is a, a useful feature, um, especially if you had content available, but you haven't solved the big problem, creating massive amounts of content. And you want to be careful not to do too much filler content, create new post. Okay. We know what that is. Create campaign. We know what that is. So it is a good UX from this one calendar view. I'll give it that. And it does have a good volume of content feature. I'll give it that. <sighs> what I call that groundbreaking. No, it is useful. And I don't know of any of the other content services like sendable that offer this view. So it is unique, but is it groundbreaking? And it does it solve your main problem creating valuable content. I don't think so. The store is going to come later and I don't even know why they have a store in terms of selling your own products. I'm not sure. We could look at that later and then journal. Now journal is where you can just start creating blog posts. Now I did want to call journal out and then we'll circle back to your library because that's kind of the meteor function. In here, if I post create a website, this has actually started feeding its artificial intelligence because I've already experimented with it. And it's starting to queue up this, the, basically the autocomplete feature. How do I know how to create a, and it's going to start populating things. It's automatically presenting emoticons or emojis based on what you've written so far or this particular sentence. And as you write, you will notice that it's auto-populating 
words for you. So I could just hit tab and use healthy balance. I'm just hitting tab life. Well, we're on the wrong track here. We're supposed to talk about creating a website for my clients. The best way to build a profitable business. No, we're talking about website. Well, it's talking about online. So here's the thing. I'm going to stop here with this example. We know what autocomplete is. We've seen autocomplete with Gmail and the Google's autocomplete seems a bit more intuitive than this. This AI is promising that it's reading all of your context clues. Whoop. Let's see here. And the context clues are this blog post, create a website. Um, and I said, how, whoop, how to build a website for your clients. The promise is that it's reading these, these clues. I put this in here. I started typing this, and it's starting to get smarter as it goes. Build a website with little code. See, it's not even queuing up right now. Oh, there's, there it is. For discount, what is it even talking about? So the promise here was that there was a way for this to basically, if you watch any of his videos, autocomplete full posts. Now, maybe, maybe this AI is assigned to your account and maybe as you input more and more blog posts, it's reading more and more blog posts. So maybe on the front end, you might have to write a lot. And maybe then I, after, you know, 10 or 20 posts, I then start writing posts and it starts to learn from all of my other posts and starts auto completing full posts. That is possible that eventually it starts doing what it promises, and that is help me create content when I'm strapped for time. But right now, it looks like it does take a lot of front-end input just to make that work. Yes, we've got autocomplete. Now, I will show you a cool tool. So let's just call it sparkmysite.com. Um, HTTPS. Okay, look at that. So if you have a URL that you're used to getting quotes from, you can get quotes with MLA citations, and I can just say, I gave him my vision of what, I, oh, this is a testimony on our homepage from Spark My Site. I can click add to post, and it puts it right in there. Well, that's convenient. It's a good convenient tool, and you might have a list of these URLs. So it might be saving you little bits of time here and there from pulling quotes from, let's just go um, uh, CNN.com, right? What quote will it find for me? Let's look. Give that a second. So this is promising of uh, unable to extract from URL. So there you go. So it doesn't always work. And then I can organize this into coaching and I can ship it right now. I can publish it to WordPress, Medium, Shopify, but, um, but I'm just obviously not satisfied. So I'm not going to pu uh, publish this. So uh, I don't want to delete it. I don't want to cancel it. Can I save it? Well, that's actually kind of funny because I'm not even sure it's saved. So let's just see if I can go to my folders. And maybe that's the save button. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, so that's a flaw. You got to know where to save. And so that review there. But I've got this in my journals and I could begin to start crafting series just as I think of stuff. So maybe this becomes a journal where you collect stuff. And then in your library is when stuff gets promoted from here to let's, I mean, let's queue it up as a draft in a post, create a new post, blah, blah, blah. It automatically filled this out. Um, for some reason, I can't input a URL so that it fetches quotes. For some reason, it hasn't queued up any hashtags. Um, it's not even showing. Oh, here's my hashtags, coaching small business. It's queuing up with artificial intelligence, some emoticons, um, but it's not suggesting any hashtags. Maybe I need to add a, a photo and then I could choose for it to publish to Spark Sites and then I'm not going to publish it, but I will click save draft. Well, let's go back to the library. So here's something Marissa posted testing stuff out for Spark Explorer. Um, I guess this was drafts. Okay. Here's some drafts we've started putting together. Um, they're organized. That's great. But this is all other people's posts. Where was the draft I just made? 
I had a library draft and mine isn't in here that I can tell. So that's odd, right? So like, where is my library of stuff? Okay. And then last but not least, I want to actually do, okay, so I can design on Canva. I can use its service called Bold, or I can use, you know, any one of these tools. So even though it, it looks like it's eventually promising that I can create a graphic here, it's literally just going to link me to what I normally do. And that's, that's do Canva. Here's my point. And we're going to pause here. We're going to break away here. My point is this, <clears throat> this tool promises a lot and AI can make a huge impact, but a lot of these are roadmaps. And from a business reality perspective, they need our subscriptions and our inputs. And most AI always does need input on the front end. And that input on the front end really drives um, how smart it gets over time. So I, if I were to get this tool, if you were to get this tool, you probably need to assume that you're going to spend the first month filling out these posts, writing quality posts, deriving quality posts, and maybe then testing it after a month of queuing it up of whether or not it's actually writing smart posts for you. So again, there's a lot of these tools. This is the most cutting edge content creation tool out there. There's a lot of others. We've tested a lot of others and you can see that, man, it, it promises a lot. I hope for a lot, but when I come to it, I've put my money up. Now you could purchase this. You get a lifetime membership and maybe it pans out over the next year of it getting smarter, or maybe you take the time or your assistant takes the time to fill, I don't know, 10 or 20 posts out to educate it. But in the end, currently there's no content shortcuts, even with AI. So I hope you've learned something out of this. I hope you benefited from us experimenting with it. Let me know what you think. Give me your feedback. And if you have a tool that you love, let us know and we'll review it for you guys.